In the vast cosmic theater, where stars shine and galaxies weave their luminous tails, our tiny blue dot is a speck of life against the cosmic backdrop. The Milky Way, our celestial highway, stretches across the night sky. Its spiral arms cradle countless suns, each a beacon of possibility. Yet silence echoes. Are we the sole thinkers in this cosmic amphitheater? Or do other minds ponder constellations, trace comet trails and seek answers? As we journey through stardust, let curiosity guide us. For within our insignificance lies the grandest question. Are we truly alone? I was talking to a friend of mine at Manchester, a biologist, and I showed this picture in a talk I was giving, which is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a beautiful photograph of the Milky Way. Um, it was, again, put together by the European Southern Observatory, actually, from photographs all around the Earth. So this is the whole sweep of the Milky Way across the sky. And he looked at that and said, in that galaxy, I think, at best, there is only slime. That was his view as a biologist looking at the history of life on Earth. If that's true, then it puts our insignificance, I think, in a very different perspective. Uh, from a cosmological sense, it may be that the Earth is the only place in this galaxy where people like us can think about science and do cosmology. And um, even if that's not the case, it is true to say that we've looked a little bit and found nothing. It's often referred to as the great silence. And I would argue that one of the profound uh, messages that cosmology and biology together give us is that we may as well proceed on that basis. Uh, if we proceed on the basis that perhaps we are the only civilization currently present in that galaxy, then I think we may behave a little bit differently to the way we do today. As we stand on this fragile blue sphere, our gaze drawn upward, we find ourselves at the crossroads of existence. The Milky Way, that luminous river of stars stretches across the night a cosmic highway connecting us to the unknown. Our telescopes scan the heavens, seeking cosmic companionship, and yet, the great silence persists. I mean, imagine that we're the only place where there is intelligence in this galaxy. And how should we behave? Right. Should we actually, notwithstanding the fact that we're tiny and fragile things, and insignificant physically, should we consider ourselves extremely valuable in that respect? If we are the only intelligent beings in this galaxy, it raises profound questions about our significance and responsibility. Should we see ourselves as incredibly valuable despite our small, fragile existence? But what if we aren't alone? How often do other civilizations arise? And how advanced could they be? Could there be civilizations millions or billions of years old? And what might they think of us? I'm just, I'm sure there are other civilizations out there in the universe because there are two trillion galaxies. I, I just can't believe this hasn't happened in other places. The question is how often does it happen and how widely spaced are the civilizations? And I think they're very widely spaced and I think there may be one or two per galaxy on the average. If civilizations are common or even slightly common, then there should be civilizations ahead of us. You imagine the time scales we've been around as a civilization. Let's let's give say forty thousand years. I don't know how long our civilization's been around. Let's say that the, the the galaxy is pretty much as old as the universe. It's thirteen billion years worth of time. So the idea that there are no, no civilizations arose, you know, a hundred million years ago, two hundred million years ago, one billion years ago, and imagine what they'd be like if they'd survived. I mean, we've been, we've been around, we've had science for, let's say, since Newton or Copernicus, 500 years at most. We've had, and look what we've done. We've, we've gone beyond the solar system with Voyager. We've walked on the moon. Um, we've, we're, we're about to go to Mars, I would think. So we're about to begin colonising our own solar system. Um, so we've done that in 500 years. <laughs> so yeah. imagine a million years right. in the future. Our rapid journey from the dawn of science to current technological achievements highlights our potential. Imagining civilizations that arose millions of years ago invites us to ponder our future. What will humanity become if we survive and thrive for such vast stretches of time? These questions underscore the preciousness of our existence. We must cherish and protect our planet 
and our species, knowing that our intelligence is rare and invaluable. As we reach for the stars, let us remain humble and inquisitive. The pursuit of knowledge is a journey without end, and one we must undertake with awe and responsibility. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, keep looking up and wondering about the infinite possibilities in the universe.